We had quite a melodrama this week in the case of Roland Burris, the man named by the accused Rod Blagojevich to succeed Obama in the Senate. Um, where do you see that going at, at week's end, and, uh, and what effect uh, do you think it's been having on this transition? Well, it, it's a continuing distraction, uh, certainly in terms of the press and the, the message that the Obama, the Obama transition people want to deliver, which is that he is ready to take charge. Uh, he's giving interviews, he's giving press conferences that are treated as if he is already the president. And now you have Burris on the stage, and at the moment, uh, what we're hearing from the likes of Dick Durbin, the senior senator from Illinois, is that the U.S. Senate, uh, and the number two man, I might say, among the Democrats in the Senate, is that the U.S. Senate is not going to change its rules about insisting that the Secretary of State in Illinois, Jesse White, sign uh, Governor Blagojevich's uh, order that Roland Burris be the appointed junior senator from the state of Illinois. So this goes on now for some time and may be forced into the courts. The part of this thing that... Uh, I find so amusing is it seems to me that uh, Rod Blagojevich is playing racial politics and getting away with it. Everybody's focused on the law. Oh, yes, Roland Burris has a right to get in. Roland Burris is a nice guy. Roland Burris wasn't even in this thing initially, and now he's being forced uh, onto the well, U.S. Senate. Bill, we've got about 30 seconds left, but as the founder of the Rod Blagojevich uh, uh, fan club and support group, uh, your thoughts on the outcome of this, all this? He had a great week. He, he, a month ago, he ended his press conference by quoting Kipling, his poem, If. And this press conference on Friday, he ended by quoting Tennyson's poem, Ulysses, I think he's auditioning perhaps for a job as ambassador to the court of St. James <laughs> under President o Obama. And I do think the British would love having someone there, he, you know, a fine, upstanding former governor who can quote British poetry at the drop of a hat. Well, he's arguing to the jurors in the in Northern District of Illinois, and if he thinks Tennyson, you know, he, he's playing the racial politics to the black jurors, but this Tennyson stuff is over the top. What a theater. What, what drama.